So if you come to Universal and try to get on to um, the Secret Life of Pets off the leash, you should just come straight here and get in the virtual queue because then you'll be guaranteed your uh, ride, even if it's a few hours later on in the day. I hear that these are sold out by about two o'clock in the afternoon. So you wanna get on the newest ride and here it's a lot of fun. Come straight here and get in the virtual queue and then just come back when it's your time. So this is the test vehicle outside the Secret Life of Pets ride. And I've heard that it's a tight fit and that if you're worried you may not be, I guess, small enough to ride, you should get in this and test it. And what you do is you get in here and you pull down the bar and on that dash when the light turns green, it means you can fit into the right vehicle. So I'm gonna give it a shot here and see just how tight it is. So we're testing to see if Matt fits. Let's see here. The light is green. He is clear to go. This is a tight fit. I'm really surprised. I mean, I'm not a huge, I'm not a big guy, but like it's tight in your shoulders. Yeah, I heard it was a little claustrophobic. Yeah. All right, we're good though. You are tested, good to go. premise of this ride is we are stray pets or stray animals that have walked into the apartment building that all these animals from uh, It's a Secret Life live in. Whoa! Just look in this letter hole opening. Wait, there he is. Ooh, Daisy, you are fluffy jeans. <laughs> this is so cool. They're dancing. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Also, as a He's getting a massage from his mixer. He loves it. That is so cool. He's snoring. That's <laughs> so Oh yeah, he's in, he's in heaven. He's in heaven. This apartment is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your day here at Universal Studios. This is so cool. So this is like a bedroom. 
Yeah. Max Yeah. Max Liam. Oh, okay. Oh, hey again, puppies. Man, you would not believe the things I've seen up here. Did you know there's a woman in 7J who sings in her sleep? She could be on TV. I mean, if she wasn't so bad at singing. All right, I'm gonna go see what's going on next door. There's a bunny rabbit who thinks he's a superhero. Can you imagine? <laughs> box. That one says Jackalope. It's like a car. Are you excited, babes? Super cool, high tech Come on! Go down and go out! Don't worry! They're 
Okay, so let's talk about the secret life of Pets Ride. I went in expecting it to be uh, the best ride Universal has probably ever made. That wasn't, you know, a, their typical screen ride. Uh, there's a lot of animatronics. I really did like it. I thought they did a very good job. And for me personally, it may be one of my favorite rides here, if not my favorite ride, just because it's different. Uh, there's a lot to look at. Uh, it keeps you uh, very entertained and very busy the whole ride. Um, and it's different. It's not kind of the same old, same old for Universal. So I, I enjoyed it. That being said, I didn't think the quality of the animatronics was the same quality as you'd find at Disney. And I also thought the story was, although the single story, the singular story of the whole thing is you're a pet who's gonna be adopted. I thought that the story as you went along with all the other pets was a little muddled. It didn't quite stay on track, you know? Um, so that's kind of my thought. I liked it. Like I said, I think it's my favorite right here. Um, but I think it, you know what, it didn't quite live up to the expectations How about that I had. I really did. I expected this to be kind of a Disney quality ride, and I think it fell a little short. All right, what did you think? I was ridiculously giddy when the screen shows us as puppies. And <laughs> when you take your hands up, it's like little paws. So you can like do this, and then the puppy like in the screen does it. And that made me like really happy, like like child, like yay! Um, and then you get to see yourself as the puppy at the end when you're going through a bath and being adopted too. And so that was my absolute favorite part. Is I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm an adorable puppy. Uh, I loved that part, and that was really cool. And then um, it's just neat, especially if you like one of the characters more than others, you can see it through the whole ride. They did a really good job of incorporating all of the characters. It wasn't like you just followed Max the. Yeah, guy. that's what I like about it too. There was a lot, of, all the characters were in it. I did enjoy that, yeah. Yeah, so you can find the um, the bulldog repeatedly, which I also like. Uh, so that was good. It was, um, it wasn't overly fancy. Like there's nothing, there's no drops in it or anything like that. It really is just like a ride through, you know, ride. And um, yeah, I mean, a lot of animatronics, storyline. My favorite part is that the line Phil flows in with the storyline of the ride. So you're going through the apartments yeah. before you get to it, and I just think that that was such a really nice touch. Yeah, the queue is very entertaining, and I told Monica as we were going through it, it reminds me of um, some of the queues, in particular the Peter Pan queue at Disney World, where you're in the home of um, Wendy's family and you're occupied the whole way through. That's what this was like, um, but even better. Uh, they put even uh, a lot of animatronics and um, just fun things to look at and interact with in the queue. And I thought that was really cool. I really liked it. The one thing I will say is for a slow moving uh, dark ride, uh, I'm still surprised as to how um, confining the seats are in the ride vehicle and how they limit um, the size of the people that could get on. I'm kind of surprised because it's not as if it goes fast. You don't need to be fastened from the top like a roller coaster. So I'm kind of surprised because I, I would think that uh, it may put some people off and, and maybe uh, get people not come back to the park if they can't get on, you know, the star, the, the number one current attraction right now. That's all. There was a couple in front of us with two little kids and only one of the kids got to go through because the other kid was too short. And I thought that was kind of sad because it, it is it is a kiddie ride, you know? I mean, it's a cartoon and I think the little kid knows life of pets and I thought that was... Um, Sad. Yeah, because that it's same child could have could have gotten on like Peter Pan ride, for example. And and Peter Pan ride is probably a, a more rough ride than this one. Yeah, and it like comes off yeah. the ground and flies, and you know, children, yeah, I and think it's a big one. could jump off. Yeah, and this one just stays on a on a on the ground and uh, just goes very very slowly the whole time. So yeah, I was kind of surprised by that too. Anyways, that's our uh, two cent review. <laughs>